Hammurabi is probably the best known land and resource management game on CPM, so this video is going to show it being played, and also two other similar text-based games that sought to extend the concept, uh, Dukedom and Kingdom. I'll start by showing Hammurabi. So it's an mBasic program, and uh, therefore we need to start mBasic. In this game we play Hammurabi, the Babylonian king. You might notice that uh, Hammurabi is spelt with a single M, whereas it's meant to be spelt with two M's. Presumably something to do with the uh, character limit of the, uh, of the file name. So here we are, uh, creative computing. So this, well this can actually trace its origins to, uh, to the Sumerian game, which was created by Mabel Adis and uh, William McKay in 1964 on an IBM mainframe. Uh, the original game went on to inspire conversions to other systems, but it was eventually taken up by David Al, uh, who ported it to BASIC and, uh, and then eventually released it uh, as part of the 101 BASIC computer games, and that's probably where it became most widespread, or at least got that first widespread attention. So we can see here we've got 10 years at governing ancient Samaria, and uh, we have someone here starting it by reporting that in the first year no people starved, brilliant, and five came to the city. So the population is now a hundred, city owns a thousand acres, uh, we harvest three bushels per acre, the rats, oh dear, have, a have eaten 200 bushels, and we now have 2,800 bushels in store. Land is trading at 19 bushels per acre, we're asked how many acres do we wish to buy. Let's go through and see what happens. If I say we want to buy 10 acres, how many bushels do you want to feed your people? We'll say 2,000. Uh, how many plants do I want? How much do I want to seed? We'll say 100. And there we are. Now we're into our second year. And uh, no people starved again. Brilliant. Seven came to the city, so they obviously like what they see. But oh dear, a horrible plague has struck. Half the people died. So 53 is now the population with, uh, with owning uh, 1,010 acres of land. So let's... Uh, well, in that case, there's no reason to buy any land because we've got more than enough after a uh, considerable number of people we've got. Uh, we, could, we could sell at this point because we said we don't want to buy anything, but no, we don't want to... Actually, no, we will sell something. We'll sell 50. We might as well because we've got more land than we need. And also land is trading at a higher amount. Previously, land was tra trading at 19 bushels per acre. Now it's trading at 24 bushels per acre. So let's uh, make some money there. Uh, how much do I want to feed my people? We'll say a thousand. Want to seed? Say a hundred. And there we are. Three people starved. Oh dear. So we didn't quite get that right. Uh, land is now trading at 25 bushels an acre. Uh, we're still quite low on the population front. So I think we'll um, sell some land. Sell another 50. Okay, 1500 to my people and we'll plant 200 acres. No people starved. Fantastic. So let's just leave the land as it is and then... Right. Now you can see now I've tried to feed 1500 but we don't have that much uh, we don't have that much grain. So uh, the maximum we can do is 415. So we'll go for that. I how many do we want to plant? 15 Oh, zero, then we'll put. Oh dear, oh dear. I starved 52 people in one year. Not a great year. And as you can see, I've been declared national fink. Yeah, so that's Hammurabi. It's a nice fun game. Uh, it takes a, little bit of, uh, takes a bit of a while to get used to knowing how much to feed in each year and how much to plant, how much to buy, all those sort of things. But it's quite fun to have a look at. The next game I want to show is Kingdom. But like Hammurabi, uh, Kingdom.bass is an mBasic compatible uh, basic program, so I'll run basic to load that. The version here, well, Wikipedia says that Kingdom was created in 1974 by Lee Schneider and Todd Voros. However, I can't say with any degree of certainty that the M basic, that the uh, basic program here is uh, is the same program because there's nothing in the uh, nothing in the source code. To, to say anything about who, who wrote it. But I put a link on the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website to show where you can download the kingdom.bass file 
on the uh, Walnut Creek CD. The same is true for Hammurabi as well. So here we are in any case. So unlike Hammurabi, we've only got eight years in office this time. And you can see that we've got 69,940 Ralods. Well, you can see Ralod, if you look at it, is dollar spelt backwards with, a, with an S to make it plural. And then we've got 497 countrymen, 2,000 square miles of land. Uh, something a little bit different in Kingdom is that we can sell land to industry. Uh, so that's uh, interesting. Uh, let's try that. So let's sell 10 square miles to industry. And then we've got to distribute Ralods to our countrymen. Well, I'll try 40,000 square miles to plant. We'll try 1,000. I think it might be too much. Yes. So let's go for 900. And then we'll do a thousand and a thousand. Good. Uh, oh, not so good. 97 countrymen died of starvation. So pretty poor, in fact. Uh, 17 workers came to the island, so they must have liked something. Uh, but, um, but we had to force sale of land to pay for the funeral expenses. So that causes a bit of bother and uh, not great for the countrymen either. So let's try again. So how many square miles to sell? Well, so 500 this one, I think. Make some money. Distribute the countryman. Let's try 60,000. Too many. Uh, square miles to plant, 500. 1,000. 1,000. Oh dear, foreign workers not uh, exceeded the number of countrymen. Uh, they've revolted as the majority. So I've been thrown out of pr I've been thrown out of office and I'm now residing in prison. So things haven't gone well in Kingdom. Uh, so it's an interesting program though. It's got these extra few features on it, uh, such as uh, such as the industry, uh, such as education and uh, pollution being an issue. So if we get those wrong, then uh, that'll affect how we do. And there's also the option of uh, promoting tourism at certain points. So if we do well, then tourism becomes an option. And uh, overall, it's quite a nice game. The last program I want to show is Cutedom. Uh, this was originally written by Vince Talbot in 1976 as an extended version of Kingdom, although the version here was actually written by Richard A. Karpke, and that and it appears to be a compiled basic program. And because it is compiled, unfortunately, it requires a Z80 to run. I wanted to show the documentation because it's really very good. Uh, so as you can see, you're one of several dupes chosen by the High King to help run the Kingdom, and then it goes through explaining the mechanics of the game, how it works. Uh, how we can play it, and uh, a bit of background information. So it's quite nice to be able to read through that, and it helps us get into the uh, into the mindset, into the swing of things. So if I now run the program, and then we don't want the instructions. We've just seen them. We got we have the choice of seeing a detailed report at the end of each year. Well, we don't want to skip it because I think it's quite nice. And here we are. So year zero, peasants 100, land 600, grain 4177. And it shows us the start and the end for the peasants. And you can see at the bottom, we've got the figures 100%, 80% and so on. And this is because the land is graded depending on the fertility of it. So we have 216 acres that are at 100% fertility, 200 that are 80% and 184 at 60%. And then as we go through, uh, if we don't continually buy new land and just keep planting on the old land, then it'll become more and more depleted. So let's see what happens. Oh dear. So severe crop damage due to seven years locusts. Well, that's not good. Uh, oh, one other thing as well. If we look at the report uh, just above that, we can see the royal tax. So we can see how we're getting taxed on our rain. And also we can see that we can see the crop yield as well. The worse the quality of the land that we have, the lower the yield. And opposite of that, of course, is that if we have uh, good quality land, we'll get a, a better yield. The uh, quality of the land also affects the price that we'll get when we go to sell it. So that's something else to bear in mind. Uh, the worse the quality of land, the lower price we'll get for it. So it, it has an extra complication to it, which can make it quite interesting. Now, when we specify the grain for food, we can specify it. If, if we give a figure over 100, then that'll be the figure to distribute among all our peasants. Uh, or if we do a figure lower than 100, it'll be a uh, per peasant figure. So I'm going to give 13 per peasant. And now we want to buy some land. Uh, so, actually no, we won't buy any land to start with. And we won't sell any land. And uh, we'll go to plant 200. 
Oh dear. So rats have infested the granary. The king requires either three peasants for his estates and mines, and then we get a choice. Will you supply them? Yes, I will. Or we can pay 300, uh, we can pay 300 HL of grain uh, instead. Uh, well, we'll give the peasants. Sorry, peasants, but there we go. Okay, there we are. Uh, so this is our next year's report. Uh, King's levy minus three peasants. So that affected us and affected the peasants as well. Poor old peasants. Uh, now, uh, if we go through, if we don't buy any land, and if I don't plant anything, let's see what happens. Okay, so king requires two peasants. I guess we'll go through again. Ha, ah, here we are. So, a nearby duke threatens war. Will you attack first? So yes, let's attack them. They've threatened war. Let's attack them. First strike failed. You will need professionals. How many mercenaries will you hire at 40 uh, hectolitres each? So that's grain, I think. Uh, so let's see how much we've got. 40 hectolitres. Uh, let's go for 100. Uh, yes, 10. There we are. Okay, so I've lost the war and a pox epidemic has broken out as well. Well, it really has been a bad year. Let's see what happens now. So I've I've got four, 41 war casualties. I lost two to the king's levy. I've lost three as victims of disease, three natural deaths, four births. So I've gone from 101 to 56 peasants. Not a great year. Uh, fruits of war. So uh, I was so the duke that uh, that attacked me took 116 acres of my land as well as their fruits of war. So this isn't great. So let's carry on and see what happens next. 13, uh, we're not going to buy any land, but I will definitely plant some. Okay, rats infest the granary, brilliant. Um, okay, let's try again. 13, I'm going to buy and 200 again. Pox epidemic has broken out now. So what's happened here? So I've lost three to disease and uh, things aren't looking very good. It's turning out to be a tough couple of years. So I'm not going to buy any land. Plant again. Rats infest my granary again. Right, I, think I might buy some land if I can. Because I made some... Uh... No, I don't. 200. Uh, okay, we'll plant nine. Oh dear. So, rats are fest with the granary. I've got insufficient grain to pay the royal tax. The, the High King has abolished my ducal right. So, um, lots going on though in dukedom. Uh, lots of different things that can happen. We get the plagues, the poxes, the locusts, the, uh, the rats infesting. We get war. Uh, lots of things going on. Although in truth, I don't know. Uh, I think I prefer kingdom. I think I prefer the simpler dynamics of kingdom. Um, but... Um, but dukedom's definitely more varied. So uh, horses for courses, I guess. Different things, different people prefer different things. But either way, hopefully you've enjoyed looking at the uh, the three games: Hammurabi, Kingdom, and Dukedom. Uh, there's an article on the Tech Tinkering website which points to uh, the files that you'll need to run these. And uh, there's other videos on the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel. So have a look at them and please subscribe.